Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. I'm Rodney Nigel Mayfield. We got another hot show for you tonight. Tonight's topic is women allow yourselves to be used by men, says Kevin Samuels. I say don't. Let's do it. show. Now, I've already gotten about 20 emails from women who wanted to come on the show, but I don't have enough time, ladies, to bring all of you to the show and allow everyone to speak on this topic. But all of you ladies are definitely free to post comments after you've watched the video on the Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk Show on YouTube and share it with your girlfriends. Now, Kevin Samuel said in a 2021 or 2022 video, that women should let men use them. I repeat, he said, women should let men use them. Now, you already know, I got a lot to say about this acidine statement. But before I go on my critical critique, I'm going to let you hear the words that are coming out of Mr. Samuel's own mouth so that you won't say I'm lying. I will also have a live female guest caller to the show who's going to voice her opinion on this topic that women should let men use them. Here's the video in context of Kevin Samuels saying women should let men use them. Most of the time women will say, well, no, because modern women believe, you know, have been made to believe that a man is supposed to make their lives easier. Modern women have been made to believe that having a man is supposed to make their lives easier or more comfortable. So if they can pay their own bills, provide for themselves, what do they need you for? And that is a losing mentality. Let me tell you why it's a losing mentality. Because you're going into relationships with men like this. What do I need you for? So if you went to Spelman, if you went to Georgia Tech, If you went to Alabama, if you went to UPenn and you have all this other stuff, women today are not allowing themselves to be used by men. Let's change. You're not allowing yourself to be used by men. And that's why you're losing. Modern. Women are losing they're losing because you're not being because you're not can't be used. Let's just change it this way. Let men let let's just put it this way. Let's just do it this way. Let men use you. Ladies, women who win allow men to use them. <laughs> you know they're going to lose their mind on that one. What do you mean they allow men to use? Yes, we can use you. Feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. We should be able to use you. You are a help me after all. Well, and here's the thing. This is why I tell men in general, black men in particular, don't believe this crap about partners. Women today want you to be able to pay the bills because they feel like if you can't pay their bills, you can't tell them what to do. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to pay some bills, you need to be using her. She needs to be a feminine asset, a feminine tool. You should be able to use everything about this woman to your benefit and to her benefit. You should be able to use her network, her education, her income, 
anything that she possesses should be yours to use and direct for the betterment of, of, of the family. And this is the problem. Women today don't want to be used. Women today are so gosh darn selfish that they, this is why so many women get angry when you ask, what do you bring to the table? And their answer is bring to the table. I'm not bringing anything to the table because I'm not going to allow you to use me. That's why that question infuriates women right off the rip. They don't want to be used. They want to use you. You are supposed to make their lives easier. And if you don't give them a life of upper middle class or lower upper class luxury, you don't matter. This is why you hear so many women saying, I can do bad all by myself, meaning, why should I work hard? Why should I work a 40 hour week job with a husband? Why should I be paying rent with a husband? Why should I be doing any of this stuff? But yet you make, you work harder. Single women work harder than, than other women because you do everything by yourself. You just don't recognize it until it's too late. But we're going to concern ourselves with the kind of men that are in the top 20% of men who give women options. Men who are in the top 20% of men, you know, I'm a staunch defender of men and average guys, but guys, average guys, I'm going to tell you, you've got an uphill battle. Unless you are an exceptionally good looking, attractive, charismatic, quote unquote, Chad or jawline average dude, you got problems because a woman will have sex with you, but they will not allow you to use them. Women allow themselves to be used by men they respect. And the sad part today is most women don't have any, have little to no respect for men. This is why you can see women talking about short men. You, you listen to a woman talk about a man having a preference. Women all day long can have preferences on a man's height. And not only will it be a preference, they'll insult a guy for being too short, but they expect men to choose women of all weight. And I said this, uh, shout out to MTR. He's, he, he made a video today that I made a comment on this one video. You know why this thing is so, you know why women today are so worried about men's height? Women today are so worried about men's height because they're either overweight or masculine. They're either overweight and or masculine. These are the women who worry about a man's height. Because if you're an overweight woman, you need a man that's bigger than you so you can feel small. You never, have you ever noticed that women who were fit, trim, and petite don't really concern themselves with how tall a man is? Not like, not like big girls. Why is this important? Because when women have a preference, they're, it's supposed, they're supposed to have a preference. They don't want to settle. Gentlemen, do not settle for a woman that does not allow you to use her. Ladies, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to exhale after hearing this foolish statement. Okay, time's up. Let me say this at the outset. Basic common sense should tell anyone that a statement like this stinks to low hell. Not to high heaven, but stinks to low hell because heaven has nothing to do with commentary of this nature because it's not God inspired. Ladies, something when you hear it the first time just sounds stupid, asinine and moronic. And this statement Kevin Samuels made is no exception to the moronic rule. 
Regardless of the educational level or the acumen some of us have attained or not, stupid is stupid. There's nothing reasonable or sensible about the statement that Mr. Samuels made when he was alive, when he said, women, let men use you. You see, self-preservation is fundamentally the process of someone or something preventing itself from being harmed, killed, used, or disadvantaged. It is considered a basic instinct that is inherent in every living being that God created. I'm going to open up the phone line and see what our caller has to say about this topic. Women, let men use you, says Kevin Samuels. Uh, we got a caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. How you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Uh, where you calling from? What's your name? Where you calling from? I'm Sam, calling out of South Carolina. All right, Sam. Welcome to the show. Hey, Sam. Tonight's topic is uh, Kevin Samuel said that women should let men use them. What is your thoughts on uh, this particular topic? Well, on this topic, I don't usually agree with Kevin Samuels on a lot of things, but on this one, I agree with Kevin. Okay. For the for the simple reason that um, it's like this, man. I'm 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 gonna take a step back. Uh, I know we sort of are being a little misguided by the term use, but uh, an old man once told me that uh, don't be afraid to eat at the table alone. And I asked him, what do you mean by that? He said, well. If a woman is not bringing anything to the table to help you get to the next level, uh, don't be afraid to eat by yourself. So basically, in a nutshell, Kevin Samuels is saying, listen, if a woman has something that can get you to the next level, use her. And she should allow you to use her because, like he said, the modern day woman, she's failing because she don't want to allow a man to use what she bring to the table. She want to get what she can get but she don't want to be able to let, give the man access to what she have. If she have a net worth, give the man access to it to get to the next level. If she have a network of people that can help this man get to the next level, give the man access to it. Any kind of resources, any kind of finances. If you are going to be a help me, allow the man to use uh, something that you bring to the table. Okay, well, Carla, listen, a uh, uh, help me is a reserve for a wife, not a girlfriend. The Bible says man should leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, not his girlfriend. So a uh, help me is not a girlfriend. And so why should you allow a man to use your assets and any other things that you have? Uh, to my uh, understanding, Kevin Samuel said women should be the tool of a man. And so if you're not married to him, you have no obligations to him. The Bible says that the man body belongs to the wife and the wife body belongs to the husband. It didn't say that the wife, that, that the uh, girlfriend body belongs to the boyfriend and the boyfriend body belongs to the girlfriend. So uh, I get your point and we are probably going to disagree on that. I get your, your point. If you are walking uh, in compatibility and you're married, I have no uh, problem with you uh, reciprocating to one another because that's what a husband and wife is supposed to do. But to me, the term use is in a negative connotation. And being a man who studied the word of God, I only allow God to use me because God uses me for his purpose, for his glory, but also for my good. So do you have any other final things you want to say before we go to the next caller? Yeah, well, I, I agree with your point. I agree with you, what you're saying, but I don't want us to get stuck on the word use. And when you say that word is uh, meant for, uh, help me, it's meant for a wife, well, you have to start somewhere. Okay, when you meet somebody, uh, you looking at all the attributes that person bring to the table, whether it's a male or a female, okay? Um, if, you, if you choose to get serious with this person, you want to know how this person can help you. So you have to start somewhere. So um, I understand what you're saying about the the word "use" being used negatively, but uh, I, I'm not just looking at it like that. You know, I'm just looking at it like 
what can you do to help me get to the next level, whether you my wife or whether you my girlfriend? Okay, Sam, I appreciate that. Sam from South Carolina, let's give Sam a round of applause, man. You really brought a lot to this show. Hey, man, feel free to call, call in. Are you uh, 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 subscribed to my channel? I, I most definitely am. Hey, man, I appreciate it, brother. God bless you. Thank you. All right, Sam brought a lot to the table. Uh, women, you guys got to come with it now. He actually gave a pretty intelligent argument even though I disagree with his argument, he gave a pretty intelligent argument. But when a human being used the term use, it got to be in a negative connotation because there's nothing positive about using someone unless God is using you for his benefit, for his glory, and for your good. Because the Bible says all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and who are the called according to his purpose. And so those are the believers in Christ. So, but anyway, let's go to the next call. All right, we got a caller. Hello, welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship. Caller, how you doing? What's your name? Hi, I'm fine. My name is Sandy. Hey, Sandy, how you doing? Where you calling from? All right, from the M Town. I'm doing fine. Uh, we're taking a poll tonight, and tonight's topic is Kevin Samuel said women should let men use them. What is your opinion on this particular topic? Well, um, I am in a relationship, and I just say if my man needs to use me for anything that he has going on in life, then I want to give him what he wants. I want to satisfy him. Wow. wow. Okay, well, hey, thanks for calling in. Have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We got a call on the line. Hello, caller. How you doing? Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. What's your name and where you calling from? This is Angela calling from Memphis, Tennessee. All right. We got a couple of Memphis callers tonight. Uh, Angela, tonight's topic is women should allow men to use them, says Kevin Samuels. I say don't. What are your thoughts about this topic? Well, I totally agree with you. I say they should not ever let a man use them. They should never let anyone use them. Okay. Well, I, I concur with that because I'm definitely against Kevin Samuels on this particular topic. I agree with him on 30% of the things he says, which means I disagree with him on 70% of the things he says. And this particular topic is no different. I am polar opposite as it relates to being in disagreement. So, Angela, I appreciate you calling the show. Uh, let's give Angela a round of applause for her brief comments on the show. She could have expounded if she liked, but she... Called in, nevertheless. Appreciate you calling in, Angela. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, we got a caller on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. How are you doing today? Fine, and yourself? I'm doing well. Uh, what's your name and where you calling from? My name is Lakeisha, and I'm calling from Memphis, Tennessee. All right, we got a lot of Memphis callers. Uh, okay, Memphis uh, calling from the M-Town. Lakeisha, tonight's topic is women should allow men to use them, says Kevin Samuels. I say don't. What are your thoughts on this topic? I definitely disagree with that. My thoughts are women are not to be used by men. I mean, God called men to the lead the women to be leaders of the women and be protectors and providers and visionaries for the women. So I definitely disagree that okay. women should be used. Okay, well, that's a great assessment. Now, uh, you say God called men to be the protectors of the woman. Now, is it God called men to be the protectors, uh, the husband, to be husbands? Or the men should be protectors as a man or the man should be the protector as a husband of a wife? As a husband of a wife. Okay, gotcha. All right, Lakeisha. Well, appreciate you calling in to the show. Uh, are you subscribed to the Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk channel? Yes, I am. 
Yes, I am. All right. Well, hey, God bless you, and thank you for calling in. Thank you for giving biblical reference relating to this topic because I am definitely uh, polar opposites of Kevin Samuels relating to this topic. A woman should not allow man to use them, neither should a woman try to use a man. The Bible says, pray for those that despitefully use you and persecute you. We should love them, but we should not allow them to use us once they've used us the first time. We shouldn't uh, hate them. We should love them, but we should not allow them to continue to use us, but we should pray for them. I right, thank you for calling into the thank you for calling into the show. All right, thank you. Have a blessed night. You too. Bye bye. We got a call on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello. How you doing? I am doing extremely well. How are you? All right. Doing fantastic. Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Well, my name is Adriana and I am calling from South Haven, Mississippi. All right. All right. Uh, how old are you, Adriana, if you don't mind uh, telling your age? I don't mind at all. All right. I am 44 years young. All right. 44 years young. Let's give Adriana a round of applause and welcome her to the show. Welcome, Adriana, to the show. All right, Adriana, uh, what are your initial thoughts about this topic for tonight? Women should allow men to use them, says Kevin Samuels. I say don't. Well, I am actually happy to be on this call and talking about this topic. And All right. I have a few thoughts on it, but my initial thoughts on it would be, you know, has he lost his rabbit tail mind? <laughs> you know, in any way that women should allow something like this to happen. You know? Wow. And I could say something else, but, you know, I'll keep it clean for the sake of your channel. Keep it clean. Uh, Keep it clean, yeah. right? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have to break out the red flag. Now, even though the red flag is not over close in close proximity to me, but if I have to get up and walk over there, then I will. But yeah, keep it clean for the right, show. Right, right. I'll keep it clean. I'll keep it clean. Right. But no, seriously, the why in the world would he suggest this to a woman? You know, is what I what I think. You know, it's very small minded. You know, especially in these times. You know, I know women are not taking this seriously. You know. And um, you know, is there such a thing such as equality in a relationship or in life? Period. You know. So um, yeah. So I don't really like the, the the whole little topic thing. But you know, if you use if use is a thing to me, you know, why not? Why the woman have to be used? Is what I'm saying. Like, why does it have to be the woman being used? And you know, and I know that I've gotten. You know, pretty much <laughs> a lot of uh, information out the way, but uh, for me, just looking at it on a spiritual aspect is, you know, what we should look at it in life. You know, just look at it that way. And I watched the video, and I can understand, you know, what his intentions are, um, as far as like him insinuating that. But you know, hey, I'm a woman, and I don't like being referred to as some something that can be used. A tool. And, you know, he said right. women should allow uh be the tools of men to use as they please and that rubbed me the wrong way being a man who has compassion for people to use the terminology used is a negative context it, it, right. it's not in the positive context at all uh the way he used that because he could have phrased that in a different way such as let's reciprocate to one another right, in my estimation right, right. Because uh, I think putting the word use in a sense of human nature, you know, shows there's no godly or spiritual intentions behind it, you know, and that's what we mainly want to look at in our lives. I concur. You know, so, right. so have you ever heard of a statement similar to this prior to the show or prior to listening to Kevin Samuels say that women should let men use them? Well, I've never heard it in that exact form, you know, but if I think back just over my life and during the time in which I grew up, even now, you sometimes hear people say, hey, um, you know, he's using her just for sex or she's using him for money. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah, but no, not just to say, hey, you know, let somebody use you. So, so is he saying that women should, you know, just, you know, allow a man to just use him in any form of fashion, no matter what it is. And so I just go back to what I said before, you know, no one should 
allow you know anyone to use you. Okay, would you ever allow a man to use you normally? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> and uh, if I'm being honest and true to myself, I would say, um, you know, yes, I have. Um, and really? Yeah, just you know. In in what in what way? I mean, I've never allowed a woman to willfully and knowingly use me, even though I know that she could uh, probably be man- trying to manipulate me. But I, I read through all of the, the the clouds and and I stopped that in the mist. So, but you said you have allowed a man to use you. Why did did you like this guy and you didn't think that you were good enough for him and so you allowed him to get away with things that you ordinarily wouldn't allow a man to get away with? Yeah, you know, when you're younger, you don't think, you know, uh, the way you should. So for me now in my life and where I am now, I think differently, so I do things differently. So okay. when you're in a certain place in your life, you know, you don't really um, pay attention to those type of things, but, you know, it happens. But, like I say, where I am now, um, I feel like if anybody should use it, you know, I feel like it should come from God. You know, okay. God has control over all, right. all those things. And it just depends on the reason why we're, you know, allowing such, such things to happen. And so for me, if God puts me in a situation where it's conducive to either, you know, myself or that person and or, you know, in a relationship, I just feel like, OK, it's just it's just something that's going to um, have a bigger and better result. then you know, hey, it may be something that I can go along with but oh. like you say you know you can actually seek out when a person has bad intentions yes and you can you can stop it so. yes yeah I, I like what you said uh the only one that you want to use you is God you want God to use you and when God uses you you know he's not going to manipulate or take advantage of you because his use is always for his glory and for your good right yes right. and for me as someone who loves God you know what would I be looking to gain or anybody if we thought or acted the way that Kevin Sanders is suggesting? Yes. Um, okay. Definitely not God's grace and his mercy. Exactly. So would you allow anyone to use you uh, at all normally? That just really depends on how we look at things. You know, at, like I said, at this point in my life, I'm trying to look at things differently, especially spiritually. And so, of course, I know good from evil. You know, if I'm being used or, you know, if somebody has bad attention, but I feel it is, you know, spiritual sense, you know, um, if there's a connection with God, you know, and this is something that he is allowing me to uh, have, you know, happen, then, okay, I, I will willingly do it because this is, like I said, a bigger purpose for it and the results will be much, I think, bigger in the end. So. Okay, this question may sound kind of redundant, uh, but... Can you think of anyone in your lifetime that has tried to uh, use you unsuccessfully? Maybe your your, your children uh, that try to get money from you and you knew they had enough money or maybe somebody else that tried to borrow something from you or uh, whether they were trying to get sex from you uh, or whatever else right. in, in a manipulating fashion. Right, right. Well, I mean, I'm sure there has been some cases in which that's happened, you know. And you just have to stop it where it starts. You know, if someone's just purposely manipulating you or trying to use you for their own benefit, you know, there's nothing good that can come out of that. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm sure there's been some situations where um, they try. But again, like you said, it's to, it depends on where your mind is as far as them being able to succeed in something along, like this. So, okay. You know, yeah, right. so no. So, did you eventually cut that person off, uh, him or her, uh, when you found out that they were trying to use you or they were using you? Well, the biggest, I think the biggest, for me, the biggest use I've felt would be in my marriage, you know, um, okay. and that has ended. Um, so Sorry I to hear about that. Did, yeah, well, you know, everything happens for a reason. We live and we learn, and, and not every marriage, I think, is um, intended you know, for the purpose that we're putting it out there for. So, you know, you just have to make sure you're doing everything in God's way and then it'll be a success. But yeah, so no, um, I didn't cut that person off. Um, for one, I can't because I have <laughs> children involved. But even if I could, I still would because I would just continue to deal with them in a, in a different way. You know, I learned how to 
deal with people in a way that's, you know, beneficial to me and helps me. So, um, no, I, I wouldn't, but I'm, I'm just not the type of person that'll cut someone off, you know, especially if it's somebody that, you know, I can, someone that can learn things from the situation. So I find a way to make that beneficial for everybody. All right, you seem like a kind-hearted woman. Uh, I'm the kind that I don't like burning bridges, but I will burn a bridge, especially if I see that you're trying to use and manipulate me, I will uh, cut you off. But it doesn't mean that I wouldn't help you if there was right. a, dire, a dire need, a dire right. need. So now- I think we think alike. We're thinking alike, you yeah. know, and think it's different between a man and a woman. And some women actually will just cut them out. So. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I look at it like this. Men and women are not mon monolithic creatures. We all think differently. Every woman does not think the same, you know? Uh, com uh, you know, according to how some people uh, say on these social media platforms that they always say women this and men this. No, you have to quantify any type of uh, subject matter when you're talking about women. You can't say all women this and all men right. this or that because all women and men are not the same. I can, right. I can definitely tell you I don't think uh, similarly to Kevin Samuels. I am the polar opposite of Kevin Samuels for sure. Right. Now, did you ever listen to Kevin Samuels content while he lived or even after his death? Outside yeah. of this, outside of the video that uh, you listen to pertaining to women let me and use you. Yes, I have listened to him. It wasn't something that I've like just been engaged with uh, when I you know, heard about him. But uh, as a matter of fact, I did. I have a friend of mine who also have a podcast um, a channel and he introduced me to Kevin one of the videos that he did. And so that was my very first time of listening to him and you know, hearing him and watching him and all those things. Uh, one of the things that he talked about on the video that I watched was women having high standards of men when they are not offering it all, you know, mm. not having top notch looks according to what society deems, you know, of course, but not financially secured or no baggage such as children, crazy exes and so forth and so on. But yeah, I've, mm. um, I've listened to him and just to kind of see what he's offering out there. All right. Well, you know, uh, listen, uh, I'm not a Kevin Samuels basher, but when Kevin Samuels says something that's not biblical, I'm definitely uh, going to critique what he says because uh, in his passing, he has left behind a plethora of content that can and will be scrutinized. And not only am I going to scrutinize his content, especially when it doesn't align with uh, God's word, but when it's asinine and out of bounds, I'm going to challenge that, as well as some of these other social media gurus who are quacks, in my opinion, who are giving out uh, terrible information and they are actually leading married women and men and also single women and men astray. So, uh, the, the, what, are your, what are your thoughts about Kevin Samuels' content on a scale of one to 10? On a scale of one to 10, and I'm sorry, um, this is, I like how you, said a moment ago and, and the way we should look at life is definitely through you know a spiritual place in God eyes and you know and, and it actually helps us to be better people in life so I definitely uh, understand what you're saying with that I would say a seven uh, for the most part um, you know just because I think he started this with the intentions of something he was building and he had a goal in mind and he seemed to be consistent with that you know, he tend to speak his mind, not not that it's the best mind, but, you know, it, it was what he was doing, he stayed true to that, and, you know, also, um, but on the other hand, you know, me, I'm a manager, so I try, I'm trying to pretty much go easy and be empathetic, you okay. know, which I feel like uh, aligns more with how people are supposed to be in life, so I didn't see a lot of empathy from him where women were concerned, Yeah. you know, but I'm sure it helped his male ratings, and I'm sure that was his, his goal. So I guess I gave him a seven for <laughs> just building his own platform. <laughs> well, you know, I, I know a lot of women who actually like his content. Uh, right. I know a lot of women who don't like his content. And so that's why uh, I say that all women are not the same. <laughs> you know, everybody right. uh, likes him for a particular reason. And the women right. that don't like him uh, probably don't like him because he's harsh. 
and uh, I've listened to a couple of videos and I've listened to enough of his content just to see uh, what he was all about and that's why I'm able to critique the things that he says especially when it doesn't align with the Word of God because I study the Word of God and when right. you're giving out dating advice and dating content you have to make sure especially when you say you're a Christian now I heard him say one time that he was a Christian he used to work oh, wow. in, a, in a church he said that and so when you are a Christian your 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 advice should align with God's Word and not based yeah, on this world's terminology and not based on what the world wants to hear. But a lot of people who build platforms on uh, social media via YouTube or any other, other, pla uh, any other uh, platforms on social media, they get consumed with the popularity and then they start going to the left. I'm not that guy, see, because I'm not politically correct. I'm not trying to appease the world, but I'm trying to please God. You know, the Bible says a friend of the world is an enemy of God. And so I don't want to become an enemy of God. So I'm going to say what thus said the Lord based on dating and relationship topics or any other topic that I deem that's relevant for uh, my viewers who wants to hear and uh, see a particular content. So uh, that's what I'm about. Now, listening to Kevin Samuels content, do you feel he was disrespectful to women or not? Um, you know, he was, I feel like he was very blunt. Uh, he didn't sugarcoat it. And like you said, it just depends on uh, what women prefer. Uh, he seemed to have his own way of helping women do through life. <laughs> you know, I'm not really? sure. Maybe, maybe I'm giving him too much credit, but I think that, um, <laughs> you know, if you are a woman hurt by it, uh, it may seem disrespectful. And that sometimes can be because the truth hurts. You know, like you said, like some women like calling in and hearing what he has to say, and some women appreciate it, some don't. And but most women, I, well, most people, I feel like they are afraid of the truth. So, but um, I guess by listening to him, oftentimes women were calling in, like you say, to to um, hear certain things. So I, thought, I feel like someone was calling in to get the truth based on some of the videos that I watched. Okay. Okay, yeah. Well, like I said, uh, I agree with about 30% of his content that I uh, watched. And uh, I don't sit and watch men give out dating advice because I've traveled uh, the world. I've been to five different continents, 20 plus different countries. And I've dated uh, women in uh, most, most ethnicities. So I don't go on Kevin Samuel's show or go on anybody else's uh, talk show who claim to be a, a dating expert and a guru because uh, I'm quite sure I probably have more experience than they do, but they are giving their, they're giving their subjective opinions. Uh, but not only am I giving a subjective opinion, but I'm giving an objective truth. I'm giving objective truth based on God's word. And so God's word is correct. God's word is the truth by which all truth is measured. It's the standard by which all truth is measured. So if they're not implementing God's word when they're giving dating advice, then their dating advice is garbage. It's garbage. Right. So now, do you believe that God would want a woman or even a man to allow another person to use them? Is God saying, okay, uh, and I'm talking in the negative connotation because right. to use someone is unless it's God, it's not in the positive right. con connotation. So is no, no. Okay, I'm yeah. Sure, no, God yeah. would not be pleased by that unless it's something that He's put you in place for. Yeah, he would not be pleased by, by that at all. Okay. Now, do you know of any Holy Bible scriptures or scriptures that clearly speaks against allowing people to deceitfully use you? Yeah, uh, yeah another thing I think I do, you know, there's one in Proverbs um, 6, 16 through 19 um, that says, There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, mm -hmm. you know, haughty eyes, the lying tongue. And had hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. I feel like you know all those things are you know intentional deceit and can only be done pretty much if you're living in the world and not in God. All right. Okay. Now, one particular scripture that comes to mind for me is Matthew chapter five, verse 44. I think it says, uh, but I say unto you, love your enemies, 
bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So God is telling you right there that you pray for these people, you love these people, but it didn't say that you continue to allow them to use you and persecute you. You have to uh, get away from that type of individual uh, who's trying to deceitfully persecute you, despitefully use you and persecute you rather. So you have to get away from people who despitefully use you and persecute you, but you pray for them, you still love them. God didn't say, well, you hate them because they're uh, uh, intentionally uh, trying to use you, but you still love them, but you have to separate yourself. I wouldn't be around a person that I know was continually uh, using me and then persecuting me, talking about, about me behind my back, but I'm gonna still be in that person's company. No, uh, I'm going to burn that bridge, but I'm gonna pray for them, pray for them afar. That's just me. So. Uh, is so you there? Have to, and I want to say too, you know, yeah. you have to stand for something, you know, in life. If not, then you will fall for anything. And I feel like the one thing in life we should stand for is God. And if we stay in God, He'll help us through all like these troubled times or whatever, and, and you'll see life in a different way. Okay, I agree. I agree. Now, is there anything you would like to say to my audience of females or even the males relating to this topic before we end this interview? Well, I, I just want to say to both females and males, you know, um, like you said, your 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 goal is to allow people to um, enter in relationships or be in relationship in, in the right way and, and, and want a successful outcome, then they will go God's way. So I just want to encourage everybody to uh, seek God first, Amen. you know, and allow Him to, you know, get that person where you won't feel like you're being used and abused. All right. All right, Adriana, I'd like to thank you for calling in to the show and feel free to call back anytime on any topic that we have. Let's thank Adriana for calling in to the show. All right. Thank you. All right. Happy to call in and be a caller. Finally, finally, finally. Kevin Samuel said that women should allow men to use them and be a man's tool to do whatever he pleases with her as it relates to her body, her monies, her education, and everything else. When the word use is used in context with what Mr. Samuel said, it's in the negative connotation. And there's nothing positive about what he said. God created you as his prized possession to glorify him and not to be used by anyone. James chapter 1 verse 18 it says God chose to give birth to us by giving us his true word and we out of all creation became God prized possession so women you were created to be God's prized possession as well as a man and God did not create you to allow a man to use you or anyone else as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew chapter 5, verse 44 says, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. It didn't say continue to allow people to use you. Ladies, you're gonna to have to put yourself in a position to win, to flourish, and not to be used by any man or any woman for their benefit and for your detriment and demise. There's nothing wrong with reciprocation when somebody does something nice for you, but to allow someone to use you is not a human instinct, but the instinct of a fool. Women, you're not the property of anyone. And to those women with low self-esteem that feel like they have to lower their value to be used by a man or anyone else, just ask yourself, who created me? Man or God? I can give you the short answer. Almighty God created you, of course. And ask yourself this, ladies, would God want me to be used by men or anyone else? 
Ladies, if you want to know what expectations God have for you, then read his word contained in the Holy Bible and you'll know what your true worth is. And you'll never allow man or anyone else to demoralize you or use you as a tool for his evil and selfish purpose. Now, if you like this content, then I humbly ask you to subscribe to my channel, Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk on YouTube. Like this video and share this video with your friends and family. God bless you. Thank you.